Welcome to our service of noonday prayer, an order of service for noonday for this day, the Ascension Day. To follow along with the service, uh, there will be links to readings that you'll find in the comments or the description for this video. You'll also find a link to follow along with the service itself in there as well. So let's go ahead and get started here at St. Luke's for an order of service for noonday on Ascension Day. O God, make speed to save us, to which the response is, O Lord, make haste to help us. And then we'll all say together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And you'll find in the link for the service, at the end of the selection of Psalms, you'll find Psalm 126. And we'll say Psalm 126 together in unison. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So, when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has sent by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? 
this Jesus, who has just been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Our service now continues with a response from Psalm 47, which you can find on the lectionarypage.net readings. We'll say Psalm 47 together in unison. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with a cry of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared. He is the great king over all the earth. He subdues the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the ram's horn. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is King of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. The nobles of the peoples have gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. The rulers of the earth belong to God, and he is highly exalted. And we'll say together now, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading is the Epistle to the Ephesians. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that, with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet, and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Our response to the reading is Psalm 93, again found on the lectionarypage.net readings. We will say Psalm 93 together in unison. The Lord is king. He has put on splendid apparel. The Lord has put on his apparel and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Ever since the world began, your throne has been established. You are from everlasting. 
The waters have been lifted up, O Lord. The waters have been lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the sound of many waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, mightier is the Lord who dwells on high. Your testimonies are very sure, and holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever and forevermore. And we'll say together, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my father promised. So, stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. The Gospel of the Lord. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. The Ascension is an event that we hear a lot about in the church, but we don't often talk a lot about it. We just hear it mentioned. We don't actually go through and discuss it in a lot of detail. And part of that reason is that because it's a very mysterious event, it's a little difficult to fully understand what's going on. We also don't talk about it quite so much because it's not an event that we celebrate on a Sunday or even on a Wednesday but on a Thursday of all days. It's not the main event. It's not like the cross or the resurrection, but it's merely a continuation of that event, of those focal points in the mission of Christ Jesus in the world. However, we can learn a lot from the Ascension. Because the ascension as an event shows us that God often acts in unexpected ways. Take the disciples' reaction to it in Acts. As Jesus gets ready to ascend, they basically say to him, uh, Lord, what about that thing that you were supposed to do? The, the thing that, you know, was foretold that... that we thought you were supposed to be doing right now. But this event, the ascension, it's not something that's been prophesied. It's not fitting into their plans, the disciples' plans, their understanding of how things are supposed to go. Instead, it is fitting in with God's plan. 
God is always surprising us by acting in ways that are very different from our own. And even as Jesus goes away, the disciples are standing there, dumbstruck. It's almost as they're gazing at Jesus with their jaws dropped open, hitting the floor. And it takes two angels to come and help them refocus, refocus from the unexpected to go out and do the work that God has given them to do. The other thing that we learn from the ascension is that Jesus, even though he's now ascended, remains with us always. We see that through the gift of the Holy Spirit that comes after Jesus' ascension. The Spirit is God's intimate way of connecting with us immediately in our minds and in our hearts. Jesus as we hear in Ephesians, remains at God's right hand in heaven. And this is a reminder that Jesus is always there, speaking on our behalf and holding up our prayers, both those of concern and thanksgiving, up to God. Now, this isn't just another heavenly being that's raising up these prayers. This is God himself come down to us in human form. This is somebody who doesn't just sympathize with our plight as human beings. This is somebody who can deeply empathize with them. Now, as we continue through this last week, plus a little extra, of Easter. These are the things we should never forget. We don't always know what God will be working because God is always working something new in this world. And even when it doesn't feel like it, Jesus is always there with us, listening, caring, and taking care of all our needs. Our service now for an order of service for noonday continues with the prayers. We'll begin the prayers with the Kyrie. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And we'll all now pray together in the words our Lord and Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, to which the response is, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O oh, Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens, that he might fill all things, mercifully give us faith to perceive that, according to his promise, he abideth with his church on earth, even unto the end of the ages, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, 
in glory everlasting. Amen. And now is a time for you to offer up your prayers, whether in the confines of your hearts or in the comment section below, or whether aloud in your own homes. Lord Jesus Christ, look over and protect all those who may suffer from the COVID-19 virus or its complications. Help us all to do what we need to do in order to remain healthy and safe and to come back once again as your people. Lord, we pray for all who are sick or absent from this church, St. Luke's. Comfort those who are sick, provide them healing. Be with those who are not present with us and help them continue to feel your presence in their lives always. Lord, we pray for Jerusalem, that it may find peace. Lord Jesus Christ, for these and all other prayers, we hold them up to you. We ask all these things in thy most holy name. Amen. And now let us bless the Lord, to which the response is, thanks be to God. Thank you all for being present with us digitally for Ascension Day, for an order of service for Noonday. Um, I will go ahead and stop the recording, but um, I hope that you will all join us um, at Sunday for our 8 a.m. service, for our 10 a.m. service, and for our Zoom service at 11. Uh, please, uh, if, if you haven't gotten a chance to sign up, please do so for, for 8 or 10, and if you can't sign up this week, um, please uh, be ready to sign up for the week after. But if you can attend with us in person, uh, please do attend with us instead online. Um, we would love to have your presence with us. And um, the 8 and the 10 will be live streamed. The um, 11 uh, will likely be available uh, shortly after the service concludes. Thank you all again. Have a blessed Ascension Day and look forward to seeing you all soon.